Do you believe that living a Christian life is hard? Like, do you believe that it's hard to be close to the Lord? Well, today I just want to talk about what it means to live a Christian life and how easy it is or how simple it is to live a Christian life. I know that for myself personally, I've been a Christian for almost 20 years now, and we humans like to complicate things. But living a life that is focused on the Lord is simple, but it's not easy because of the way that our minds work in the way that we think about things. Listen, if we lived in this world for many years before we became a Christian, then our mind needs to be renewed to focus and think about the things of the Lord. And I'm telling you, that doesn't happen overnight. And it takes persistence. It takes dedication. It takes commitment to live a life that is surrendered to the Lord. And actually, it's very simple but it's not easy because we take these simple truths that I'm going to share with you today and we just twist them in our mind and make them so much bigger and so much harder than what they actually have to be. My name is Michelle and if you're new here, what you will find here is encouragement to help you build your own personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you come here all the time, then I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. Today we're going to talk about how simple it is to live a victorious Christian life. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to read Colossians 3, 1 through 4 out of the Amplified Version. It says, if then you have been raised with Christ to a new life, thus sharing his resurrection from the dead, aim at and seek the rich eternal treasures that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God and set your minds and keep them set on what is above the higher things, not on the things that are on the earth. We must keep our minds set on things above and not the things on this earth. And how do we do that? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to be reading scripture. We have got to be in God's word every single day. And I don't mean we have to read the entire canon of scripture every single day, but we absolutely must read scripture every single day because it keeps us focused and that's how we seek the lord we seek the lord through his word because his word is truth and his word is revealing himself to us so we must be in the word of god because that is going to keep our minds focused on the things above because you're not going to read about the world about worldly things in the Bible. Yes, it pertains to the world. It pertains to the way we live, but it's not going to be talking about what celebrities are doing or what politicians are doing specifically. It's not going to be talking about the world as it is right now, like the world that we see around us with our physical eye. So we must be in the word of God. Number two, we must be praying. Another thing that we complicate is prayer. Prayer is simply communicating with the Father. And that means that we are talking just the way you and I are talking right now, with the Father. Like, we don't have to use religious words. We don't have to use words that make us sound intelligent or elegant. Or we don't have to get into a position that the Lord will hear us better. I know that some people think that uh, you have to be on your knees in prayer, eyes closed. And that's fine if you do pray like that sometimes. But the majority of the time, our prayers are simply right here. I'm sitting at my kitchen table and I can pray to the Father. You know, when I'm driving down the road, I'm driving to work, I can pray to the Father. When I'm sitting at my desk, I can pray to the Father. We must stop complicating 
prayer and simply do it, okay? I know there's always lots of talk about prayer, how to pray, when to pray. The most important thing we can do is pray. All right, let's stop talking about prayer. Let's stop telling people how to pray. Let's stop telling ourselves that we're not praying right. Like those are all lies from the enemy. We simply have to pray, okay? And number three, we have to be fellowshipping with other believers. Now that doesn't mean every single day, every single minute of the day, but we should be fellowshipping with other believers. Every Sunday, of course, you know, if you're going to your local church, which I highly recommend. I am a big believer in the local church because when I first became a believer, the local church helped me out tremendously. Like, I didn't grow up in a Christian home and I wasn't around Christians. I didn't really even know what living the Christian life meant. I didn't know what it looked like. I didn't know what it entailed. I just simply had no idea. I was such a baby Christian when I first got saved. I know that is something we talk about in the Christian communities about being a baby Christian, a baby in the faith. But I literally knew nothing when I came to the Lord because I got saved through a book and it just radically changed my life. And I went out in intentionally seeking the Lord. And I went to this local church that I had went to for, I think, Bible Scouts. You know, my parents had sent us there maybe for youth group or something, but it was a local church. I knew the pastor and his wife just because they had children that grew up at the same time that I grew up. So I really went to that church out of familiarity just because of its location and who the people that were there. But I, I didn't know anything about how to follow the Lord. And that is where I learned so much. I'm still at that same church to this day. And I'm still learning. I'm still growing. And there's people to fellowship with every Sunday. There's people in that church that I could literally call right now. And they would pray for me if that's what I needed. Or just have a, a conversation with me. You know what I mean? And that is what fellowshipping with other believers looks like. It means doing life with each other, not just showing up on Sunday morning and saying hi. So I hope that word encourages you to stop complicating this Christian life. We have to stop complicating this Christian life and just set our minds on the things of heaven and keep it set by persistently reading the word, praying, fellowshipping with other believers because that will keep us focused on the Lord. That will keep us seeking him and the treasures that he has for us. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you that we have your word to know you intimately and personally, Lord. And we have prayer that we can just grow and mature in our relationship with you. And Lord, you have put people in our lives to help us do just that. And Lord, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that word encourages you. If it does, please like and subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to build this community and help others to live a victorious Christian life. All right, take care. God bless.